Hi, how can brands like HTC, LG, Sony, and Motorola beat Apple and Samsung? The competition for the bronze medal in this race is fierce. It's tough enough to secure the number three spot. Can these brands really catch up with the two leading brands in mobile that are already way ahead? You might be surprised. After all, look at where Apple and Samsung were just a few years ago. In the world of mobile, the giants used to be brands like RIM, Motorola, and of course Nokia. And look at how things are now. If You've read the previous report briefings in the set, you know that the drivers behind the success of Apple and Samsung has been earned media. It's about word of mouth. It's about tapping into fans. The good news is every brand has fans. In fact, we've actually identified the likely youth segments where brands like Motorola and Sony can find their fans. And different brands have different fans. So it's not about winning over your competitors' fans. It's about identifying your fans, who they are, what they're like, and providing space for them to get involved with your product and marketing earlier. It'd be such a waste if you knew who your fans are and you keep treating them like regular customers. So who are your brand's fans? How can you reach them? How can you adjust your marketing measurements to make sure that you stay focused on them? Get the answers to these questions and more in the last briefing of this eight-part report briefing series on youth marketing for mobile handsets. Just go to the store to download and make sure you also take a look at the full 2013 mobile youth report that covers everything from handsets to operators to content and trends. The report briefing is written by the same team that has brought you the annual mobile youth report. The report that since 2001, top brands in mobile go to if they want to get the latest, most relevant insights on youth. Go get your copy today.